In January of 2007, I found myself at one of those watershed moments in my life. One of those times that people describe as a dark night of the soul. What was really for me one of the most challenging and difficult times in my life. And one that ended up transforming and restoring my understanding and love for God. I remember sitting in my armchair, early one rainy Portland, Oregon morning, during the time that I usually did my morning Bible reading, and I found myself staring at my Bible. I felt crippled with doubt, uncertainty, and fear, unsure, grasping for answers, for truth, for some type of certainty. Because you see, my faith to that point had been built on an understanding that the Bible could and should tell me everything that I needed to know about God, about life, about the world. That in this book, God had spoken to all people in every place and time in exactly the same way. But after years of study, plumbing the depths of epistemology, literary theory, biblical studies, philosophy, and church history, I was left with so many unanswered and unresolved questions. I was left with doubt. I found myself in the midst of a crisis of my faith. I had lost all the certainty that I once felt. And what I was left with was an uncertainty of which I was not accustomed to. This was a crisis of both mind and heart that my faith had not prepared me for. And I was not sure what, if anything, I still believed in. And the weight of this experience was crushing. It affected my beliefs. It affected that which is at the core of who I was and how I thought about and perceived the world around me. And at that dark time, which lasted for quite a while, I remember crying out to God. I remember praying the Psalms, for the first time understanding how people of faith long before me had cried out to God, imploring God not to abandon or to forsake them, to let them know that God was near. And out of that experience, God began to transform and restore my faith in ways that were so much bigger and better than my previous experience with faith was to understand that the heart of my faith in God was not about a book, but that it was wholly about following in the way and life of God. And not an abstract God, but a God revealed in a person who we can see, touch, hear. And out of this, I've grown into a faith and understanding of a God that is dynamic, always evolving, always more than I could ever comprehend, that does not demand or even offer certainty, but does promise me the great hope that God is with me and that God is for me, always.